Many people have been heading to the beach at night to catch a one-of-a-kind phenomenon known as bioluminescent waves. Jessica Rome, the Education and Communications Manager for Newport Wales and Newport Beach, joins us now. Thank you so much for coming on. This is something that I know a lot of people have been talking about. Can you tell people what causes the waves to turn that bright electric blue hue? Yes, it is just a magical experience out here in Newport Beach over the last couple of days. Bioluminescence is actually a fascinating phenomenon. It's just a chemical reaction in the bodies of these living plankton. So we see phytoplankton blooming like this in the summertime when we have really warm ocean temperatures, nice long sunny days, and a high concentration of nutrients in the ocean. If all of those factors align, we don't know when or where it will happen, but sometimes they start to bloom. And in the nighttime, we'll see this beautiful bioluminescent glow produced by the algae. Well, I know too, um, when people go out, people have just been flocking because not only is this beautiful, but as we're seeing in this video, you see a lot of dolphins and fish swimming in it. Can you tell people about the experience? And I know it can be kind of hard to predict, but where are some of the best locations for people to pick it up right now? We've seen a lot of recent bioluminescence anywhere between Laguna Beach and Newport Beach. Last night, it wasn't very luminescent near the coastline, but on our boats, which we are actually running our very first ever bioluminescent cruises this week, all the way through Friday, you can get on a boat and out into the ocean to see it. A lot of it was concentrated about three miles offshore last night, and anything that agitates the plankton will make it glow, including our boats, dolphins swimming through it, fish swimming through it. We had a lot of activity last night, lots of beautiful, bright glowing. <laughs> I love when we can irritate something and it actually makes it prettier. <laughs> right, and yeah. I think it's so amazing, right? Because we are, it's magical, it's otherworldly, and it's making people appreciate our oceans, which I think yes. is such a great thing. Well, and it makes you more present. I, I know that if people do want to check this out, too, they should check with their aquariums, their maritime institutes. Um, you really need to find a dark location as well. And, I, you know, I do know that some people like to swim in these waves. Can you talk about, is that safe to do? And are these bioluminescent waves harmful to marine life that are swimming through it that we see? It definitely can be. It's assumed that this kind of plankton is called L. polyendra, which can be toxic to marine species. A lot of times when you have a giant bloom like this, which is another way you can find it in the daytime, it turns the water a rusty red color. So oh. if you're walking along the beach in the sun and you see the ocean kind of looking dirty brown rust, then in the night that area will likely glow. And what happens after these plankton bloom in a big number like this is then they start to die off and that creates less oxygen in the water. It can suffocate fish. And if uh, marine species like sea lions and dolphins are eating fish sometimes in that water, they can get sick from it. So it's not recommended, but I've had lots of friends surf in it and they're fine. So uh, it's really a risk you take. <laughs> yeah, if you want to want to go ahead and do that, you know, is there a way to track the hotspots? Because when you're talking about the rust, I, I, rusty looking water, I find it interesting. I went out to Catalina Island this last weekend and when we were coming back, we went, ooh, that water looks kind of dirty. But now I'm thinking we should have gone back at night because maybe it was bioluminescence. How do how do people track where the hotspots are popping up? You know, it's been a lot of buzz on social media. So we have some great friends at Patrick C underscore LA on Instagram and at Orange County Outdoors on Instagram have been bioluminescent enthusiasts over the last couple of years. And so we're really taking a lot of their advice and their enthusiasm, just kind of driving around in the night at different beaches and seeing if it happens. Awesome. Jessica Rome, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us this phenomenon. I, I'm sure a lot of people over the next few days are going to want to check it out. So thank you. Thank you so much.